If there is one thing when it comes to Ashes of Creation that you have heard talk about a thousand times over by now, that would probably be the node system. The massive world shaping system is taking the MMO genre to a whole new level, putting players in control of the content. And although you surely have heard me talk about the overviews of nodes many times now, something I haven't dove into that much is the types of nodes and their functions. There are four different types of nodes in Ashes of Creation, Divine Nodes, Nodes, economic nodes, military nodes, and scientific nodes. And in this video, we are going to dive deeper into the economic node and what makes it stand out from the other three. But before we get too far into this, if you do enjoy this content, do me a favor, click that subscribe button and help this channel hit 10k subs by the end of the year. Bear with me because the only economic node footage we have seen in a long time is from the pre-alpha builds, so it does not at all represent the final version of the game from what you might be seeing in the background. I'm going to jump between this and the alpha 1 gameplay, but be warned, what you're going to see looks completely different than what Ashes is now. The economic node is one focused on trade and making money, and for the players who are looking to play into the economy side of things with crafting, gathering, and processing, this is where you'll want to make your home. Although you aren't able to tell a node type before it begins to level up, these nodes will greatly impact your playstyle and can really be game changing depending on what type of player you are and what type of home you decide to settle in, especially at the Metropolis stage. But the fun really starts to begin at stage 3, the village stage. At stage 3, each of the four node types will gain what is called a unique building, something to really help push the node forward in the direction of whatever type it may be. For the economic node, the market is what will appear at stage 3. Markets will be the center of trade in the node, where all players will be able to go, buy and sell goods and make a profit. And markets will give you many features to work with, such as an auction house, where you can sell raw resources and process goods to start. When listing an item, you will have to pay a small fee, where it will then be available to all others who visit this auction house. And although not linked to start, various situations may allow you to link the auction houses between nodes down the road. But we will get into that in a little bit. If a node is a vassal of an economic node, an NPC will appear in that vassal that allows players to list certain items through that NPC. But you won't be able to bid on any auctions through the vassals and would need to travel to the economic node to do so. You then have the trade hauling stables which will allow you to train tier 1 mules. Mules are player mounts that can assist in the transportation of goods, resources, and gatherables, increasing a player's carrying capacity, although still much smaller than a caravan, it will be good for the traveling tradesman who doesn't want the full caravan risk, and wants to take on something a bit more solo. Although some risk is still involved as these mules can be killed and a percentage of their goods dropped based on your corruption status. There will also be an area to set up player shops within the market, along with being able to rent out stalls to sell your goods. These are only available to be rented out by node citizens, and will be attended to by an NPC which may in fact be a mirror of your character to manage that stall. These stalls will allow you to really engage with the different artisan crafts, as a master armorsmith could set up a stall to do repairs, where other players could input the items for repair along with the materials to have the stall owner do the requested task. The market also allows for private property sales certificates, which we really don't have any details on, and then a hunter's post, which grants players increased rewards when turning in creature bounties at these posts. When the node hits stage 4, this all gets upgraded. The market is now an exchange, which levels up your current abilities, such as the auction house now being able to sell all goods and not just processed and gathered, higher tier creature bounties being able to be turned in, and information on sale price for auctions along with new features such as trade emissaries which can be used by the governments for node diplomacy, business licenses which we don't quite know how they work yet but you imagine they'll allow you to run some sort of business within the node, perhaps a tavern or something, upgrades to caravan cargo and many more. But it doesn't stop here. At stage 5 the exchange is now a galleria giving further upgrades to the current features plus the ability to get certificates to upgrade your inventory capacity as the player. But stage 6 is 
really where the fun begins, because at this point you are at the Metropolis. Again, upgrading all of the existing features known before, Stage 6 also grants access to what is called a Node's Superpower. Only available to the Metropolis Node, each of the four types have their own superpower. And the economic node power is a linked economy. What this does is link another Metropolis's auction house, utilizing that power, which can really bolster a node's economy, granting access to convenient trade across the map, saving time from travel, and giving you resources that you may not have had access to to begin with. And this sort of thing is exactly what I mean when I say Ashes will be a completely different game at launch compared to six months later. What are your thoughts on the economic node in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in in the comments down below and if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to do so using my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums buy some cosmetic packs or just kind of wait until ashes of creation finally launches otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come